Good morning. This is Kathy's Cook's Corner. It really should be Montgomery County Public Library Cook's Corner with Kathy Harris. Shannon Dalvis. Shannon Dalvis. And this morning, we're going to attempt to make homestyle chicken noodle soup. So, the recipe will be posted online. And a lot of the measuring we did ahead of time to uh, save time here at the library. We've already uh, chopped and sauteed the onion, the celery, and the carrots. And we're going to put it into our Instapot. We're going to make it in the Instapot uh, pressure cooker. Okay. Next, we need... Um, uh, one half teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon, one, and one half teaspoon. Okay. And uh, what this is, uh, yeah, is, uh, sorry about that. I said this is going to be, uh, uh, yeah. All right, this was, uh, it's fresh. Brooke, uh, who works here at the library, grew it and chopped it. So, all right, then three tablespoons of chopped parsley. This was also, uh, Brooke uh, grew it and this morning chopped it, so it's fresh. Okay, then we want... Uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and I think you just, yeah, you must judge. Most cooks do anyway. At least I do. And then salt. We're also going to add our chicken. It calls for one and a half pounds of chicken breast. And what we did last night was cut it up into bite-sized pieces. We're going to add that to our Instapot. <laughs> She's not going to touch it. <laughs> and then we're going to add to that, uh, and there's a, a, right over here, the stir that you know, came with the Instapot. It doesn't matter. Just stir it around a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to add four cups of chicken broth. Which is one container. So we're just going to pour that in. And the good thing about using your Instapot, uh, I will be honest, this is only the second time I've used my Instapot. Uh, my daughter gave it to me for Christmas and I fixed her roast with potatoes, onions, and carrots, and it was really good. To that, we're going to add three cups of water and it's supposed to serve uh, six with the serving size being about two cups and of course you know how that goes and when we set it we're going to cook it in the instant pot for 12 minutes and then we allow at least 10 minutes for the uh, pressure to release from the uh, pot. Now you can cook this ahead of time and just let it simmer on low. And then when you get ready to eat, about 30 minutes before you get ready to eat, uh, you would add your uh, no yolk noodles. Okay? So it all depends on you. So we're going to take the lid. Okay, and we're going to yeah, just yeah, just, and, okay now yeah, till it locks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting there. All right, come on. Here. There, it there we go. All right, now. Uh, it's going to come on, or it should. There's that, there's that, it's on, off, we're going to manual. And when it's set for 12 minutes, 
Okay, so Daniel, it should as it. Okay. Yeah, there it goes. Now it's gonna start uh, warming up, cooking. So you have to wait 12 minutes, let it cook. Wait 10 minutes, to make sure that the pressure and the steam is out of the pot. You can move, have this exactly where they tell you to put it. You can, uh, after about 10 minutes, move it to release some of the steam, uh, but don't touch it. Uh, I have seen where they've blown up <laughs> yeah, and your food ends up on the ceiling. So we don't want to go for there. And after we do this recipe, uh, we're going to have another uh, recipe. We're going to make sandwiches to eat with our soup. We'll see you later. See you later at Kathy's Cook Corner.